Today's video is on the top five most amazing bubble creations. Number five, the longest bubble. We've all blown bubbles when we were kids and probably as adults too. But what was the longest bubble you were ever able to create? Of course, if you have the right equipment, you can create giant ones. And the current world record is almost unbelievable. It was set in August of 1996 in New Zealand by a bubble artist called Alan McKay. He mixed a blend of washing up liquid, glycerin, and water and used a bubble wand. He stood in a field with a light breeze and he dunked the wand into the mixture and held it up to the air. The wind did most of the work for him and blew the bubble forward. And by the time it burst, it had reached 105 feet long, which is about one and a half times the length of a tennis court. This has proven to be a tough record to beat, and despite many attempts being made in the past 23 years, no one has managed to perfect the right mixture and find the right conditions to do so. Number 4. Bubble Spaceship Lewis Pearl, also known as the Bubble Man, has spent nearly four decades traveling the world to show his toy designs and bubble creations, and performs hundreds of shows each year. Amongst square bubbles, multiple layer bubbles, and giant bubbles, he's also perfected the art of creating bubble sculptures, with one of his most famous being the bubble spaceship. He starts by blowing three large bubbles on top of each other, and then adds smaller ones on top and inside. A ring of smaller bubbles at the base of the top large one spins as he blows on them, and is perfect for simulating the motion of the spaceship. Amazingly, then he adds a few smaller bubbles inside the larger one, and then, to finish off the sculpture, he uses a prong device to fill the center one with smoke, before bursting the structure with a flame. It's just one of his many incredible designs, and shows how varied the world of bubble sculpture is. Number 3. Most Number of People Inside a Bubble in November of 2018, Stephen Langley from the Soap Bubble Circus in North Carolina set his seventh world record for fitting the most number of people inside bubbles within 30 seconds. Stood on a stage with large pools of bubble mixture, his volunteers stood in front of him so he could place his bubble wand into the liquid and lift a bubble up around them. In 30 seconds, he managed to repeat this 13 times and he enlisted friends and colleagues to be the ones inside the bubbles. Each bubble was three feet in diameter and seven feet tall, and even though they burst almost instantly, they only needed to remain stable while they covered the volunteers. Langley is a bubble performer who uses bubbles to help education, and he's obsessed with seeing how far he can take the art. This was his fourth record he'd set involving bubbles, having previously been part of attempts such as the longest hanging chain of soap bubbles, the most people making bubbles with garland wands at the same time, and the most people making bubbles with tri-string wands. With so many other records still to be broken or created, there's plenty of more for him to set before his dream bursts. Number two, crystallized bubbles. The way bubbles forms is massively influenced by the local conditions. So when temperatures plummeted in Michigan's winter in 2015, an amateur photographer took her camera out with some soap and set to work. What she produced was a series of stunning pieces of bubble art. She made soap bubbles in various locations and waited for them to begin to freeze. The ice crystals form at the base and reach upwards, but there's not much time before they pop and are gone for good. Each one is different and she spent days setting them up to get the perfect shots. It almost looks as if they've been delicately painted with gold leaf. Every facet of creating these images involved random luck. At first, she'd blow a series of bubbles from her bubble mixture and then watch them as they floated to the ground. She had to rush over to the ones that landed in the most interesting places and set up her camera and decide on the best angle to look at them. She'd never know how the crystals would look. And as you can see, they formed in a wide range of shapes and sizes. Some looked like living sculptures that grew within the bubbles, while others crept around the outsides. It takes an eye for beauty to get this just right, and some of the images are spectacular. With the variety of colors beaming across the landscape because of the time of day that these were made at, each one is completely unique. When asked about her creations, the photographer put it all down to patience. She said that she never knew how they would turn out until she'd taken the picture, and that you need to practice making them fall properly to get the best effects. It's also something everyone can do in the right temperature. 
If you want to try it yourself, then you need it to be between 10.4 and 15.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And you better be ready to be quick with the camera. Number 1. Flaming Smoke Tornado Dustin Skye is another famous bubble artist who's become known for his combination of bubble blowing and chemistry know-how to create some spectacular effect. Probably the most amazing is a flaming smoke tornado, and this one isn't one to be trying at home. To do it requires special equipment, which allows him to first blow a large bubble that he catches on the wand. He then uses a butane gas canister to blow another bubble beneath the main one, which he fills with smoke. He blows gently into the main bubble to create a whirling current, and then, when it's ready, merges the two bubbles together. This brings the smoke and gas into the airflow of the main bubble, and when he punctures a hole in the top, the air begins to escape and creates a tornado in the center. Next is the careful positioning of a lighter above the bubble which sets light to the butane gas as it escapes and creates a constant flame. The smoke continues to swirl around inside and escapes to feed the fire, which begins to lift up above the bubble as a jet of smoke emerges over it. All throughout this spectacle, the bubble is slowly reducing in size because of the escaping air and eventually gives out one last push. The last moment sees the flame get much larger than before and then it and the bubble are completely gone. It's undoubtedly one of the most amazing and unique bubble creations that you'll ever see. After all, fire and fragile bubbles rarely go well together. With a display as great as this, we can't wait to see what he comes up with next. Honorable Mentions The Surface Tension Lamp if you go to your local lighting store or online, you'll find a huge variety of lamps that are designed for a range of places, but you've probably never seen anything like this one, the surface tension lamp. Bubbles catch light and swirl with color, which was something that this lamp's designer wanted to harness. It, therefore, continuously blows bubbles to the illuminated by the LED light and produces one of the most unique lampshades ever created. In the 50,000 hour lifespan of the LED in the lamp, it's estimated that as many as 3 million bubbles will be produced, each of which will be different from each other and will create its own unique effect. For an amazing indoor bubble light, there's really nothing quite like it. You just might need to be careful it's installed above a waterproof and slip-resistant surface. The Bubble Building With their fragile nature, bubbles are the last thing you'd expect someone to build a structure from, let alone a building. But that's exactly what DUS Architects did for the Zigzag City Festival in Rotterdam in 2012. Of course, this wasn't designed as a permanent structure and was intended as an interactive space. The pavilion was made up of 16 hexagonal ponds that covered an area of almost 400 square feet. Each one was filled with soapy water, and visitors wore rubber boots before standing in them and lifting steel handles to raise the bubble walls around them. This was, of course, fun for everyone who took part, but according to the architects, there was a more serious point to be made. Every time the bubble burst, the person's first instinct was to reach down and create another one. This, they said, reflects social and environmental issues, whereby the repeated cycle of building and rebuilding structures has serious consequences in the long term. Space Bubbles We're used to blowing bubbles with the effects of gravity, but what if you were to blow a bubble in space? The science behind it means that it's actually quite easy and that they last longer than they do on the planet, but the unusual conditions in orbit mean that there are other things you can do too. In 2003, Don Pettit was the science officer at the International Space Station and conducted a series of experiments to show just how unusual things can be. He started with a wire loop and stretched a thin film of water across it. Next, he dropped an effervescent tablet into the middle, in this case, an Alka-Seltzer. As the chemicals dissolve, carbon dioxide is produced, and the film of water begins to expand and becomes a bubble, just one that's unlike anything possible on Earth. I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.